Welcome back to Probe the Act on Deep Stuff Radio. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Right, welcome back to Deep Stuff Radio with Eric Hickens and our lovely guest all the way from uh, Indianapolis. is a singer, songwriter uh, from Terra Hall in Indianapolis and we're back again. Right, so um, what were your ambitions when you first started music? Because some people, when they first start music, they you know, um, they just want to do it for the fun of it. Some people start it for money. What was your ambition when you first started music? My first ambitions when I started music. Yeah. Really, uh, really just the the, the culture of, of hip hop itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was a. Uh, it was more about you know drive the struggle the the come up of it now everybody's just magically got so much money and they was already doing this before they got in the rap game you know what i mean yeah and I, I, I don't know i i don't know like i said man, i just i just think about rap different so my ambitions solely were just trying to maintain the culture of what i view hip-hop is yeah all right that's brilliant yes yeah, so um I mean, I've heard your music, but um, for somebody who's never had the chance to hear your music, how would you describe it? Uh, how would I describe it? Mm. Mm. That's a. That's a <laughs> question. I wasn't asking that before. <laughs> how would I describe it? Um, I'd say insightful. It's yeah. definitely not something you can hear. You, I don't know, I view myself as my style's kind of different from yeah. anything you've heard, especially in the last five, six, seven years. You mm. know what I mean? It's uh, it's unique. The If I had to say insightful and unique would be my two words. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. So, um, have you had any albums out? Uh, no albums. I've had, uh, I have five mixtapes. I really, I've been uh, doing this for a year and a half. I put out like 50 some songs. Yeah. So I've just been pretty much one after another. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You've been very busy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, have you played any gigs lately? No, I actually have some. Uh, it's supposed to be scheduled here late, uh, early to late September. Mm-hmm. It's Good. supposed to be doing some down in a, in a state called Tennessee. Right. Oh, I love that. I love that. Do you remember that song back in the days? It was by a group called Arrested Development and it was just Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee. I don't know if you can remember that. No, I actually don't. No? Oh, come on, man. (laughs) That's the only way I remember Tennessee because it just kept going Tennessee, 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 Tennessee. And, and, that, and that's the only thing that got stuck in my head about Tennessee. I've never actually visited America, so I don't really know much about the States. Anyway, so um, this is a question that I ask most artists. Um, and it is, what is the first step to making a new song for you? Because some people write to the music. And some people um, write the music first. And Depends then the and then they write well, and then they look for the beat. I I can uh, you know because I mean if you're if you're a rapper you know yeah. what I mean you're supposed to be able to freestyle you know what I mean but you can you can freestyle you know acapella do that with the homies or whatever you want to do yeah but I feel like if it, when it comes to generally making a track I feel like I have to have the music so like especially like like if I'm making a beat. I'm a, I usually start with the drums just mm-hmm. to get the, the momentum, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But sometimes, honestly, starting with the melody is the, the best way to go because you get your own vibe for it and then you can put your own drum, your own drums in, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it honestly just it just depends. It depends on uh, your, your personal vibe and how you connect. But personally, I like hearing the music before I, I even write any lyrics. Right, right. You'll be like... Because I feel like the music itself brings out that, that, that personal vibe that you felt when you heard that song. Yeah, that's, that's the, true, that's the yeah. Vibe you want. That's true, yeah. Because that's how Tupac writes his song, doesn't it? He gets the beat going and then he starts sort of coming out with the lyrics. He, he, he gets in his own rhythm. Yeah, he uh, does. Yeah, he does, doesn't it? I love Tupac. Anyway, um, so we're going to take a short break now. Please don't go away. Um, we'll be back shortly. Um, we've got Still Smokey in the studio, um, all the way from Terra Hall. 
uh, in Indianapolis. And we'll be back shortly. Please don't go away. <laughs>